Hey everybody, what's up? So today's topic is going to be LTOs. What is an LTO? What does LTO stand for? How does LTOs work? Why LTO so popular? All the fun stuff, right? Okay, so what is a Sensi LTO? Sensi LTO is a limited time offer. Something that the company offers for a limited time. Limited quantities, limited everything. Also, one of our top selling items are LTOs. They sell out so fast. So for us, the people, the consultants, the, the, the customers, the everybody in between, we miss out on things so quickly. For example, Stitch. Stitch just came out last week. Stitch sold out within minutes. Let's just say 30 minutes, right? The whole thing. Stitch, the warmer, the buddies, the, the everything, right? Stitch and Angel sold out. What Sensi does when that happens is they realize that it's such a high requested item. They do pre-sales, second chance pre-sales. We'll talk about that later. When it's about current LTOs. So holiday LTOs also. So most currently we have is our Easter little buddies. They're little bitty buddies. Um, these, I wanted to say were $10 a piece when they came out. They are sold out. They are part of our Easter collection LCOs. They're sold out though, but I wanted to show you these because it, it, it shows the diversity that the company offers, right? So we have those. Then we have another Disney favorite, and that is Moana. Moana is currently on pre-sale last I checked. Let me double check while I got you guys' attention. Moana was definitely pre-sailed a couple of weeks ago, like a couple of days ago. I want to make sure it's still pre-sale. Give me a second. I'm moving as fast as I can. Um, manama, manama, manama. Nope. Pre-sale for Moana is over. So you had a certain amount of time to pre-sale to get Moana. This is an LTO buddy limited time offer so they sold out when it came out on the 22nd i believe and with it selling out i'll show it to you guys with it selling out we did a second chance pre-sale second chance pre-sale went for like maybe like a week or two and then it's over so now what that means is that's it so we do and this is actually what it looks like super adorbs Super sold out, no pre-sale available. Um, reach out to a consultant and see if they may or may not have an extra one. Keep your fingers crossed and pray to the sensi gods that they do. Um, that does come with its set pack, and it did come with, I did buy the wax. Again, wax LTO. Now, these kind of things, though, when they're available, you can add them to your Scentsy Club. We have warmers that are, that is horrible lighting. We have warmers that are LTOs. We have scents that are LTOs. We have buddies. We have fragrances. We have so many things that are LTOs. Why are LTOs important? Because it, 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 it opens the eyes to what else the company has to offer. So the company just does not offer waxes and warmers. We all know that. Like, we had holidays, um, buddy clips. These are actually on clearance now, currently. But these are holiday buddy clips, LTOs. We have, um, we have, like, certain fragrances. Like, we have the Life is a Herbitat, which is a seasonal item. Once that sells out, it's gone. Once you hear us talking about it's going in the vault, which means we're never going to get it again. Um, it is very rare that once it goes in a vault, it comes out of the vault for sale. So you got to take advantage of those options and those moments. Because LTOs, yes, they sell out quickly. Like that big box right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. The holiday one, that is a holiday warmer. It costs me over 100 bucks for it. Limited edition, only a certain amount were made. And I told myself I'm going to get one. I think I did a video on it. If not, I'll do one so you guys can see it. Um, like, we have so many different things that we do LTOs for. Limited time offer things, like, it's, it's, it's like you just got to have it. Like, it's one of a kind, you know, and you just don't want to, 
you don't want to miss out on being able to get it. That's also why they sell out so fast. One of my biggest pet peeves is when an item that is an LTO sells out and then come the negative rants that does not look good. We cannot do that because it it, 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 it takes away from the from the product and it, and it turns it into a negative thing. Like if it's sold out, guys, it's sold out. Stitch, Angel, the warmer and the wax was in my cart when it dropped. Every time it spun that circle, y'all know the circle, it exited my cart. I actually ended up not getting it, right? A consultant who did not get it. I don't know how much quicker I could have been. I don't know if I could have been in a different time zone. I don't know what the difference would have been, but I missed it. So what did I do? I ordered a pre-sale. Pre-sale will guarantee that I get my merchandise. Do I have to wait a little bit longer? Of course. Am I upset that I have to wait a little bit longer? Absolutely not. I am as happy as I can be that I have to wait a little bit longer to get my items because it gives me time to, to, to for my customers who also pre-ordered, I get to do something special with them. For everybody who was like, oh my God, can you get me one? And they gave me the, the pre-order, I can do something special for them. When you pre-order the LTO, it gives you time to, 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 to build it up. Like, it gives you time. Now, granted, you might have wanted that at that moment, but it's sold out. So, take a deep breath and just figure out a way to move forward. LTOs are stressful. 2 a.m. launches are stressful. But it's worth it when you get what you want. It's worth it when you don't get what you want. Because for me, God bless you, for me, me not getting that LCO that day in that moment did not put a negative light in my head. It made me think like, oh, dang, how did I miss it? What did I do? It made me rebuild my business. Like maybe if I did this, 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 and this, I would have gotten it. Is that true? Not necessarily, but I gotta I gotta find the light at the end of the tunnel to be positive. So LTOs are super important. When they're gone, they're gone, and that sucks. Because we want little things like this Mickey Mouse holiday bunny clip to stick around forever. We want things like these Easter bitty buddies to stick around forever. We want things like our favorite Disney characters, our favorite Marvel characters. We want all those things to stick around forever, but they don't. It just makes you cherish it more. Well, at least it does me. So when you think of an LTO, think of it as something that you must have. Think of it as something that you're going to cherish forever. Think of it as something that, am I really willing to sell this? I don't sell my LTOs unless I buy more than one. If I buy more than one, it is usually because someone asked me to and I went ahead and I got it for them and it's already an order. I don't usually buy tons of LTOs. I don't do that. I don't do that and then resell them. I think that is absolutely disgusting because they gouged the price and I don't like that. Um, but what I do is, if it just so happens to be my very last one and I'm like okay in life that I'm like I could get rid of this, then I'll do it. And when I say get rid of it, I mean like if it's like I just got to have this LTO, I really do this. And I feel like I'm okay with turning it over because I display my LTOs. My LTOs are usually what's displayed at my parties um, just to kind of give it a little bit of diversity to what the company has to offer. When you see a Disney product, when you see a, 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 a Star Wars product, those raise questions like, whoa, since he has that? Yeah. Get into LTOs. It's also how you introduce your Scentsy Club for all consumable items like this wax bar, like this set pack. You get what I'm saying? It works, and it all ties together. So, guys, when y'all see LTOs, and they're popping up, and you're just, like, so stressed out, and you're just like, I don't know what to do. I can't reach it. I can't find it. I can't get it. It's fine. It's fine. Think of this moment as, did you really need it? Now, here's what I will say. If you took pre-orders for that LTO and you took 10 pre-orders, you got five and the other five you cannot get, let these customers know immediately. After these five have been ordered, 
let these five customers know, hey, Miranda, Josh, April, Susan, and Brandon, I do apologize, guys. I was unable to get your pre-order. I still have your money. What would you like me to do? 99% of the time, Sensi does a second chance pre-sale. 99% of the time, depending on how popular the item is, Sensi will do a second chance pre-sale. What that means is, after the item has sold out, Sensi will go ahead, configure some things at the factory, and then they will come to us and say, okay, you got from this time to this time to put a $10 deposit on the items that you want. If the customer has already paid for it, remember, you got these five people who already paid for it. If two of them want a refund, right, that means you have three left. You can fully refund the two people because you have the money. Fully refund them. Give them the option to, hey, if there is an option for a pre-sale, what do you want me to do? These are private conversations that you're having with your customers. You're not having these conversations on your public post, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You're not doing that. Private conversations. You do not want to find yourself out of compliance for trying to help your customer, right? Keep it private. Keep it personal. Why? Because if you're like, hey, Niasia, look, I know you really wanted this stitch and Stitch is sold out, but I have your money. If Sensi does a second chance pre-sale, do you want me to put you on the pre-sale list? Put the $10 deposit for you. Hold on to your balance, or do you want me to refund the balance to you? Nine times out of ten, I'm going to tell you, hold on to my balance because I know I'll spend it. Um, And I don't want to do that. But, um... If they're like, no, I want my money back. I'm going to try to get it from another consultant. You say, okay, you pay them back. You give them their money back. And if they come back to you like, hey, I couldn't get it, and it's still pre-sale option, give them the option. Everybody wants the LTF. Everybody loves Disney. Everybody loves Star Wars. Everybody loves it. So let's just, everybody loves Marvel. Let's just do it, right? So when LTOs pop up, now I don't know the next LTO that is popping out. But I do not have to do some research on some pre-orders I did with Jack Skeleton, buddy. Um, I have to make sure I get all my ducks in a row with that. But you just got to be on it, you know. And you can't be upset. And you got to have fun with it. So I still let's say this. LTOs are bomb. LTOs are stressful. LTOs are awesome. And I love them. Um, I love not getting them. I love doing the pre-sales. I love doing the pre-orders. I love doing it all. I just love it. So... If you don't love it yet, you will. Um, it'll stress you out a little bit, but you will learn to love it. And if you don't, watch this video again. All right. Until next time.